Hey everyone, Kevin here from River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can edit video using Adobe Photoshop. So, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in Photoshop CS6. Now the video feature, I believe, was added to Photoshop in version CS5, um, but a lot of improvements have come about in Photoshop CS6 for the video, so it actually makes it um, a decent feature. So the way that we're going to get started with video in Photoshop is to just, I have an open a Explorer window here, and I'm just going to take and drag in one video clip, and you'll see that it takes and imports that into Photoshop. I can now minimize that. And then I can take this timeline, which it's conveniently opened up, and I can pin this basically to the bottom of my window. So now, um, essentially within Photoshop, we have an interface that looks a lot like um, Final Cut or Premiere or Movie Maker or iMovie or whatever video software you're used to working with because now we have a timeline down here at the bottom. You can see different clips and we can scrub through our video and do um, quite a bit um, like we would with um, any other video editing software. So in order to add in more clips, what we're going to do is take and add or click this little plus button right here and it's going to prompt us basically to look for some other files so I'm just going to search for this folder which is called PS video and currently it's set to 3ds max format so I'm just going to switch it to all formats now you can see all of the files I have here today so I'm just going to import this image here and the rest of these videos except for this one because I already have that one in there so I'm just going to hold control to deselect that one and click open so now it should import all of that stuff right here. And you can see that we have basically a still image that's really large. We have some other clips right here. All right, so there's quite a bit to show you. Um, there's a lot of different features, and um, so we're going to be going through most of those. So the first thing I wanted to show you is just kind of how to organize your document. Now we can add in audio, which I think I'm going to cover um, a little bit later. So um, right now we're just focusing on video. So you can see over in your layers panel, um, just like you would have in Photoshop, you have a group here. Um, this is a video group, so it's basically all the video that's on one specific track or one specific layer on your timeline. Now if you want to take and move something outside of that, like say this image, we can take and move that up, and you can see that now this is on its own layer. Now if we took and put something else out, um, like say one of these clips, we'll take and drag that out, you can see that now it, it has another layer added outside of there. So what you can also do is take and click on each of these individually and drag those down and then it will take and make a second video group. So if there's only one thing on a layer it's just a layer and if there's two things on it then it'll make it into a video group. So for right now I think I'm just going to um, leave the image as the only thing on that separate layer. So, um, the next thing that you can do is take and actually edit your video and Photoshop has a pretty nifty interface you can see. Let's Let's cut this clip down because there's quite a bit of stuff in this little shot from an airplane. And you can see that you basically just drag from the end like you would in any video program. And Photoshop has a nifty little um, preview window where you can see exactly where you're cutting to. Um, so I thought that that was pretty nice. So you can basically trim off of each end however you'd like. And it'll automatically clip it to there for you. So, um, one of the other things that you can do with Photoshop, I had mentioned that um, I think that you can basically use anything you can use in Photoshop in your video editing. And so what this means is you can see that my footage here, um, I've actually fixed this in a previous tutorial for Premiere. Um, I showed how to do color correction. You can see it's really blue, and uh, I think I had the white balance off or something um, when I was actually recording some of this footage. So, um, luckily we can just take and fix that within Photoshop here. Um, so I'm just going to take and add in an adjustment layer. So just like we normally would, click the half and half circle, we'll go to curves, and it's going to clip it to the clip that you put it on. So I want it to be on everything, so I want it to be outside of this video group. So now I can take the blue and maybe t turn down the blue a little bit so you can see that some of that blueness that was uh, messed up from the color correction gets we get rid of some of that. We'll maybe add in a little green, maybe add in a little red. Um, it's not perfect. You can spend time tweaking things, but you're trying to get the whites to mainly look white. But you can see that um, what we've done is basically added it over only one clip. So we have the before and after here of that clip. So you can see that we pretty much improved it. So really anything that you can do in Photoshop, you can do to your videos. So um, in order to get that to scale over the entire thing so that we can color correct all of our footage at once, you just scale that out like you would a normal video clip and now you have a curves layer on there that you can deal with. 
Now notice I didn't put it onto this photo layer um, because it's underneath it in the layers panel so therefore it doesn't actually get applied to it just like in Photoshop. So what um, we can do with this photo is basically just scale this down. So I'm just going to zoom out here, we'll scale it down. We can bring this in and you can see basically I can take and lay a picture over the top of my video. So I have a video going on behind that and the photo comes up on top and I thought this was a really nice feature that they actually have these multiple tracks and they built that into this Photoshop version because it instantly makes it better than something like uh, Movie Maker because Movie Maker is like a one track system and now you can actually layer things on top of each other so um, I thought that was really nice if you're just doing some kind of simple um, video that you needed just some simple layering and editing for. So um, just to kind of further emphasize what you can actually do with this because you have Photoshop built around it, um, you can actually take and let's just actually not the magic wand, we're not doing that. Um, we're going to grab the um, select color range on this image and I'm just going to try and remove some of the sky here. So I'm just going to leave the fuzziness probably around 95 or so and I selected the sky so you can see it made a pretty good selection of that. Now it is going to grab some of the blue up there but just for demonstration I'm just going to delete that and you can see that we have now a pretty good um, selection of the sky deleted. So I can just grab my eraser tool which I wouldn't really recommend but um, just to quickly kind of rough up some of that sky that didn't quite get selected. So now what I can do is take and move this over here, like say that I wanted to talk about this in my video, say that there was a voiceover or something I was saying, oh, I'm going to go to see the Warner Brother Tower, and so we wanted this to appear. Now, um, this is fine and good, it just kind of snaps on there, but um, you can also take and animate things, so it kind of has an After Effects feel as well. So what you can do is take and, there are some pre-built um, effects, I guess I can show you those first. If you click on this little triangle, you can see it says Motion, and it has different motions built in you just select those and you can tweak them to your liking but I kind of like that um, refined control over my effects so you can actually do some keyframing in here if you open this up this image layer by clicking the triangle you can take and uh, animate position so you just click the stopwatch like you would in After Effects um, some of you guys that don't watch my After Effects tutorials you're gonna be behind on this because uh, some of these concepts actually um, come over from After Effects into Photoshop now so anyway, um, if you take and create a keyframe, basically we're creating a point in time that that picture looks like that. So if we create another keyframe, say here, we want this to change over time. So right now they're the exact same thing. So what we want is one of these to be different. So we'll get to that first keyframe, and then we'll just take and drag this off and make sure that you're zoomed out so that you can drag it off. So now as we come in here, you can see that it actually just scales right on there. Okay, so now we can add another keyframe here, and then we can add another keyframe at the very end and do the exact same thing. So we basically have it coming on and coming off as you talk about it in your video or whatnot. So you can do some pretty sweet animations like that um, just with your position, opacity, and then you have style options too. And don't forget that you also have all of the options in Photoshop to tweak this as you would like um, as well. So that's kind of a little neat thing that I came across that you could actually do the keyframing. All right, so other things that you're probably going to need to know. Um, if you wanted to split a clip, you can take and use this little um, scissors. If you get your playhead right where you want it, say we wanted to cut this, this movie in half, this movie clip, you can just cut it right there and it'll split it in half and you can trim from in between two clips. Um, that's something useful that you usually have in a lot of video editing software. Um, you also have some transitions that they've built in. If you take and click this little half and half square, um, much like the adjustment layer, this is just the square icon right here. You can take and apply different fades, cross fades, fade with black. You can set your duration, so we can just cross fade between all of these if we wanted to. Because we don't want to just jump cut to them particularly. So now. Get ready for this. This is going to be some cinematic gold. Whoa, look at that fade. So all that is now built into the Photoshop video editing. So I think the last thing that we really have to discuss um, is audio. So in order to add audio, you can see we have an audio track right here. Um, all of these clips actually do have audio on them. Um, you may have heard it playing, you may not have. Um, 
if we take and click each of these clips um, has a triangle, if you click on that you get more options so you can see that you have um, a duration and speed that you can set manually so you can get really precise. You also have um, different audio options so you can fade the audio in or out, you can mute the audio. Um, so we're just going to mute the audio in each of these clips. So I'm just going to select each of them and mute the audio. Okay. Now um, one thing that I did come across uh, they hid the little scale thing down here. If you wanted to really precisely take and edit your clips, um, you want to zoom in so that you can adjust them. So you can use the scale to zoom in and out. Um, it was one of those things that took me a little bit to find exactly where that was uh, for some reason. Because in um, Premiere and After Effects and things, you can just hold Alt and use your scroll wheel, but for some reason they didn't build that into Photoshop. So um, once you don't have the shortcut, you kind of have to search around for it. All right, so anyway, let's get to adding in this audio. So the audio is down at the bottom here, and you're just going to click the plus, just like you did for your other um, video options. And I have this, it's called Change It. Um, it's from the Video Copilot um, Pro Scores pack, and it's just, I had to convert it to an MP3 because for some reason Photoshop would not import um, WAV files, any WAV files, so I converted it to an MP3. Um, and so now we can import that, and you can see it puts it right down there. And so now if we play it, it will now have that audio. Um, so you can basically replace audio and do fancy things just like you could in other editing programs. So you can take and delete your transitions if you click on them and hit delete. Um, there's a lot of little things that you'll come across uh, as you play with this, but that should definitely get you started. So. As far as Photoshop as a video editing program, um, when I first heard that concept I was like, why? Because Photoshop is a photo editing program. They're, they already have Premiere. Um, there's already free versions of different things out there like iMovie and Movie Maker. Um, you have Final Cut Pro um, for high-end Mac users. Um, but I have to say that this Photoshop feature is pretty nice because a lot of people don't buy the entire Adobe suite. They actually buy just Photoshop or they buy just Premiere or whatnot. So if you um, don't have any other video editing software but you do have Photoshop, this actually becomes a pretty decent tool um, to edit video together. So there is one more thing that I did want to show you. Um, once you've actually created your video, how do you actually export it? So um, there are a number of different options that are actually hidden from the main timeline um, that you see. If you come up into basically any panel in Photoshop, there's more options hidden in the top corner. So there are a lot of other options and what we're looking for is currently off screen. I guess I can drag this up here so you can see it. We're looking for render video. So go down to that and you will pull this up and now you can take and Give your file a name, select a location, um, you can pick the encoder, the file format, um, I'm just going to use H.264 which is what I use in order to um, basically upload to YouTube, that's a good uh, compression, you can select the size, so we have a HD size, um, and basically just um, mess around with these settings until you can get something that works and then click render. So that's going to render out your video and save it to the destination that you selected. So that will probably take a little bit of time. I'm just going to pause the video and turn it back on once that's done. All right, so looks like our video is done exporting now. So we can pull up that folder while where we saved it at. And you can see now we have um, the finished file. I think it is this one right here. You can see it's color corrected. I probably should have given it a more specific name. Now I can take and open that up. And there we go. There's our, ooh stupid snapping in windows what are you doing but anyway here you can go you can see our video we go along here we've got our nice transitions coming in and it's exported in hd quality so there you go there you have it video editing within adobe photoshop so i uh, hope you guys learned something don't forget to subscribe rate and comment i do have a new video coming out every week so thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you next week